Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to check a MySQL Workbench query history such as alter, select, delete, insert, and etc. So think about a scenario where you've been writing a lot of queries and what happened and then all of a sudden uh, you need to know, hey, you know what, I have what queries I ran yesterday, there was a complex query, where I wrote it and I wrote, run it, but I don't have it saved in my uh, files or somewhere. So what you can do, you will be in the, going in the output window here and then you will be going to the um, instead of a uh, action output you will be going to the history output um, so that's all you will need to do and you will have uh, the history by data so let's uh, consider this one today's uh, uh, 21st and uh, if I want to go ahead and say uh, create a database uh, uh, my test so if we run this uh, query and uh, see what happened here so even it is uh, not correct. So uh, what what we see here, create database uh, my test. So I see right there, even when the query didn't complete it successfully, as long as it ran it, that's it is saved the values. So, okay. So now we go ahead and run it again. And uh, we see, uh, we are gonna go back to the query history here and it should show us a query database so my test right there. So if you wanna say select, uh, let's say use uh, uh, TBIT, and say select some data select asterisk from uh, employee okay let's run these two queries and see what happened so if we go right here so you can see that I uh, use TBIT and then we have select queries so this uh, keeps uh, history according to the data that's really cool and it helps uh, you know especially in the cases when you have written complex queries you totally forgot to save them and you can come back to history and uh, take a look from uh, there thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video